Hey guys, Luke for Smith here, and welcome to a new video. Uh, this is going to be a vlog. Uh, I'm going, like I said before, I'm going to be taking a break from Jump at a Half because I'm not really feeling it um, lately. Like I want to do like real life stuff like this. Uh, this is going to be a vlog of a little something that I found. I haven't. It's not around anymore. It must have sc scurried off somewhere. Um, Basically, this happened, I think, two days ago. Uh, I was basically finishing up and I wanted to go, go to bed because I was working in the morning. So, got up, do what I normally do, save all my stuff, close the computer down, shut the computer cabinet up. Even though this is the computer cabinet here and I'm facing this way because I'm in the computer's plugged into the TV at the minute as a monitor I need to get around to getting a new monitor I will do it sooner or later um, then I just got, got, got ready for bed put the, um, the, the um, sheets on whatever and then I looked up at the um, at the ceiling now my ceiling is even though it's gonna be a bit dirty because i forgot to um clean it recently basically yeah can you see that slant there that's where the loft is uh, basically this this um this house has a big uh loft in it and the way my room is is basically my room is at the um the top floor like like the first floor or the second floor um depending if you're american or not if you're american then this is the first floor however we're english so we say second floor um yeah i'm on like the, the topmost floor and my room is like center of the house like, like in the middle of the house and our um our roof for, for my room my room is sticking out more and the roof's like that on it uh so that that that's what it's like that it's 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 on that side so it's like that and that basically when i look up there that's how it how it looks um yeah and on that slanty bit like tucked away in the corner uh, in a in a little um cobweb like a nest they made was a um little house spider. It wasn't like a full grown one. I think it was like a, like a young one. It was a size. It was the size of my thumb uh, there. So it, so it wasn't that big. Um, it dropped down and it landed on my on my pillow. So I thought myself, well, I'm gonna have to get get rid of that. Uh, so I went to and then I looked at it a little bit cl closely and it had like a pair of wings sprouting out of it so i thought myself oh so it must be eating a fly or something however then i took another look and it went and it when it when it moved forward um the wings was poking out the back of it so i thought that's a weird spider a spider with wings moth go away uh so then i thought is this like a new species of spider or something? Is this like a genetic mu mutation? Because I do know that um, we had the um, explosion uh, here. Uh, not not recently. This was back in 2004, I believe, something like that, when the oil depot kind of <laughs> exploded at 6 o'clock in the morning. Woke everyone in Hemel Hempstead up that did. Um, so I thought myself, is there radiation in the air? Even if there was radiation back back then, which n no one said anything about radiation or anything. This isn't Chernobyl, this is England. Um, so yeah, it wasn't radiation. Um, when I actually look back a bit, look, look back at it, then I'm guessing it must have been like, a flop it must have been holding a fly in its like little front pincer legs the only problem is it was using all of them legs to uh to um run about 
I mean, I did think, I did get get rid of it because it's only a small one. If it was a great big meaty one, which I normally get, then yeah, it takes a long time to get rid of them because you have to catch them all the time. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing. It's like when another reason why I was looking at it because I was a bit tired, and you know that you know that thing where you start seeing things that that that's not possible or or not there. And it happens when you're really tired or if you don't have much sleep. I think that must have been another thing because I was, if I was like thinking that it was a, um, that it, it had a wing, then it might have been like lack of sleep sleep or something or one, one needed to go to bed. I mean, luckily I was going to bed anyway. So so, so that did, didn't matter. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like trickly eye or something like that. But it was actually a weird thing to to see there. I mean, the wings didn't flutter or anything. It just looked like this spider had had wings on its abdomen. So I thought, oh great, spiders can fly now. Do you know how much of a nightmare that will be for everyone? Like all the all all, all, all the arachnophobes be pissing themselves if if spiders flew. <laughs> I mean, I'm. Um, I don't know. Like in some countries, I do know that we that in some kind countries in like like in Australia or like America, South America, they do have spiders which look like um like scorpion spider things, so like these pincer things, and they're basically arachnids anyway. Um, so I don't know. Is there a spider that can fly in in the world? I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments. Enlighten me on that, or are all spiders flightless? Because I only only know about the spiders in in the UK and some in like Australia. I know we got camel spiders in Australia and things like that. Huntsman spiders, I know them. Um, but yeah, I only know mostly about house and garden spiders in the UK. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I had this um. Uh, this loosed fruit shoot thing. Uh, strawberry and raspberry. Mm. A little bit strong. 50 50. I think the strawberry is a bit potent in that. That's why I'm not, not that keen on it because that strawberry drink I'm not that fussed over really. I, I, love, I love raspberry though. Raspberries I can drink for days. Um, so yeah, that was a little vlog uh, for today. I'm going to get as up soon as possible. Um, Sunday, hopefully, I'll have another one on the go. Uh, it'll probably be an update video for July on Sunday. Uh, so we'll see what happens until then. See you guys.